I'm testing some of the weirdest things fruits can do in blocks fruits. Like how the barrier fruit might be able to push fruits just underneath the map. So if I place this fruit on the floor, the barrier fruit has a move called barrier wall. And if I jump up and aim this thing straight down at this fruit, will it push it like into the back rooms? Boop. It just went through the fruit and nothing happened. What about barrier tower? Maybe if I drop like an entire tower on the fruit, is it still there? Yep. It, you can see it just underneath. It is holding up that barrier with all of its power. That one definitely doesn't work. And just for good measure, we'll test trying to push it into a wall. Also does not work. The next thing we are trying involves this brand new spider fruit. And we're testing the new and improved overheated sniper to see if the range is longer than it was before. In the past with the overheated sniper, you could hit people from the very top of this rock. So let's see if that's still the case. Have they made it shorter? You can see the people I'm aiming at all the way down there. I gotta get this pixel perfect. I've literally got a target on this now. Boop. I hit. So is the distance the same? That's from the very top of that rock as well. This time I'm going to try and go even further, which I think this will probably be more distance over here. We're going from this rock over on this side. If I can somehow hit them from here, this will be ridiculous. I like two pixels. In fact, I can count the pixels on them. Overheated sniper. Boom. What? I actually hit? Okay, we're going even further beyond. What if I'm all the way over here? I'm on the skull of the dragon and they're stood where Island Empress spawns. How about now? Boom. <laughs> is this longer or did I just never test it properly in the past? I'm going until I can barely see them anymore. I can literally barely see them. We're giving this a try. Here we go. Overheated sniper. I can see just about one pixel. Wait, I need to go first person for this. No, I don't. I can't see with that. Here we go. Overheated sniper. Imagine. Okay, that seems to be about the range. That's crazy. If you were feeling devious, you could be in a public lobby just stood here waiting for somebody to try and do the boss. And then you just like come over here and just be like, oh and just hit them. That is ridiculous. I'm glad I tested that out because spider is now one of my favorite fruits in the entire game. Next up, we're going to test something with the control fruits because I've heard that if you hold down the gamma rush move for long enough, you can then just start moving around with it. And I want to see if you could kill somebody from infinite distance with that. So if I hold gamma rush, I've got my little gamma knife katana thing. How long will this take? I can already feel like, oh wait, I'm not... Oh, that really doesn't take very long. What happens if I walk out of my circle? Do I still have it? I do. How far can I go with this? This skeleton in that doorway over there always caused me problems when I tried to do the spin for bones. So I'm going to try and hit this guy. Here goes. Gamma rush. You can actually hit them. And now I'm just a sword. It's just doing the animation. What? Wait, I'm going to try something a little bit crazy. We're currently on the haunted island. I'm going to try and get the longest kill in Blocks Fruits. If I set up my domain, here goes. Hold down Gamma Rush. And if I start moving, as soon as I get my right arm back, that's when I can move, which didn't really take too long last time. Okay, right. Let's get moving. I can't let go of the V key. If I accidentally let it go along the way, all of this will be for nothing. I've got some helpers to help me out. They're going to boat me to the furthest island we can get to. I can't dash. I can jump. That's good. All right, somebody please buy a boat. <laughs> I can't do it myself. All right, here we go. Now we go to the furthest island possible. As long as I don't fall off this boat or we get sea beasted, I could actually get the furthest kill here. This is very possible. I've already tried to do this before as well in a previous TikTok, and I'm just going to smash my previous record out of the water. We're getting close. We're defeating somebody on the whole cake island. <laughs> We've got to cross the entire third sea for this. Imagine I get over here and it just doesn't work this time. You can type while holding a move. I ain't risking it. You think I'm going to risk it after all of that? No, no, no. Don't tempt me to Cape Queen. Yes, yes, yes. Even further, even further. We're going all the way across. Where are we going? We're going to the final island where the mobs are like level 2400. Yep, this will do. I walk very, very slowly now. It's like I'm being pulled back by something. Get something low for me. This is an absolute track. Yes, yes. Get it low. Get it low. Nice. Here goes. Gamma Rush. <laughs> he killed it. Attempt number two. We go again. I want this record. And I can move. Okay. We're going to try portal transformation this time. Oh, yeah. It uses my attack as soon as we portal. This attempt, I'm doing it. We're going from here all the way to the other side of the map. Now I just got to walk to the boat. We're back. This is it. This is the promised moment. All right. Now, as long as he doesn't kill it before I can do my little thing, then we're in business. I'll wait until the last second to do it this time. One more hit. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Here we go. Gamma rush. Please, please kill. So I'm going to do the animation. I'm going to be invisible for a second. Like, ooh, spooky knife. <laughs> that counts. Surely that counts. Is that officially like the longest kill in Blocks Fruits? I've always wondered with the Love Fruits, if you use Flamingo Ride and pick somebody up, can you take them through a Portal Fruits portal? I can't quite get the right angle. Uh, Maybe it needs some like an air portal. 
Oh, it does work. It just can't be on the ground. And then also for the next one with the love fruit, if I go home and go to my castle on the sea home, will it bring this person with me? What? I've just brought him with me. Straight up kidnapping. The falcon fruit's plumage move doesn't go away if you change fruits. So like I'm an ice fruit user right now with falcon wings. But does it let you transform into other things like a Buddha while having the falcon wings? Yes, it does. I've got like mini wings. What about the leopard fruit? Will it be a leopard with wings? Oh, this is the ultimate animal fruit combo. Combination. Look at me. I can't fly though. And as soon as my furry meter is at max, we're gonna try it with the dragon fruit as well. And transform. I've got mouth wings. What is this? This is cursed. The gravity fruit's X moves pulls everything to the ground and stops them from moving. But is that the same with boats? I've spawned in a dinghy. If I stand on the thing and use this gravity move, will it pull it down? It does not. What if I use it in the seat and I go like this? Absolutely nothing happens. That one does not work. With Brooks Revive Fruit, when you die, you lose everything because you become a skeleton. So what happens to the cyborg wings that are on his back right now? They fall off. Bro just shedded his cyborg wings. You see, I'm not even able to like test this because I don't have the revive fruit leveled up, but can he use the cyborg skill without having the wings? Yes, he can. Okay. So that one still works perfectly fine. And can this cyborgless skeleton then use like transformation moves like Gums Gear 2? Let's see if it works. If he tries to enter transformation, does he get the transformation smoke? Oh, he does. He's like a spooky, misty ghost. That's so great. The dragon is absolutely massive with the dragon fruits. But can it fit in a tiny little dinghy, which just got robbed? So I need to spawn a new one. So if I go here and I transform right on perfect timing as I sit in the chair, nothing happens. It takes you out of the chair. So you can't sit in the chair as a dragon. I am really trying my hardest to like get into this chair, but it does not work. Yep, it's impossible. The next test might be an obvious one for most people, but I didn't realize this. If you tap the slingshot move with the gum fruits... Sometimes you won't even reach the buildings. Like, that was really anticlimactic. Let me do it on this tree. If you tap it, you won't go very far at all. Like, that was pathetic. But I didn't know you can hold it down for, like, a really long time, like this. And you can go absolutely flying with the gum fruit. Basically, to the top of the castle. I want to see as well, will transformation make me fly even further? I'm in basically the same position as before. And about the same distance, but it just goes even faster. Does the sand fruit's deep sand move do more damage if you hold it down? That's a tap attack. That does 3940. I want to see what happens if I hold it down. Because when you hold it down, it starts to charge, like, purple lightning. So surely that means more damage, right? right? It only makes sense. It's got an insanely long cooldown though. That doesn't help. All right, here we go. We're charging it down. I'm holding it for as long as I can. Is it getting bigger in my hand or is it just kind of like chilling? 3940. Okay, that does the same. What about unawakened sand? Okay, awakened sands V. Unawakened sand V does 3397. Now we're going to test holding down awakened sand. All right, heavy sand. If I hold this down, will it do more damage? Nope, it does the exact same. So there is no difference with the sand fruit. Can the barrier fruit's barrier wall stop a straight up dragon beam? That's what we're here to find out. If this fruit is the true protagonist fruit. There we go. That did not work. Attempt number two. Hide behind the barrier. Hope for the best. Try and hit me. <laughs> It actually blocks it. The barrier wall can straight up stop a dragon fruit's breath. That is crazy. Actually, the protagonist fruit, genuinely. I am going to try and block two dragon attacks at once. Maybe the wall, like, stops. What if they both try and hit me with the beam at the same time? I got blasted back by the blast damage, but I can stop it. I am the protagonist. Can the unawakened phoenix use the awakened phoenix moves? So if I take away its transformation abilities to be the terrible ones, which is that one and this one, can I use the other moves? I actually can, but it takes me out of transformation. What about blue flames? That one works. Cremation cannon? I can technically use it, but it does take me out of my transformation. What about this flight? Yeah, that one doesn't work either. This one, like, half works. But does the control fruits teleport? Teleport to where your mouse is or just in a straight line? So if I look here and I teleport... Yep, we teleport to the tree. What if I put my mouse behind the tree? Do we go past it? Yes, we do. So we don't get blocked on the tree. So pretty much it works exactly the same as Flash Stamp. In a previous update, the Portal's X move would make you completely invisible if you just didn't move like this. So we're gonna see if that's still the case with these flying fish here. Bro is invisible. Am I? Or are they just trolling? Am I visible? <laughs> it's kind of hard to test because you yourself don't go invisible. So let's see. Does it work on other people? Oh, yep. It still completely works. He's just gone. Completely vanished from sight. Not even observation can pick up where he is. The next one, we're gonna see what happens if you summon a best friend with a different sword. So currently he's holding 
holding... What sword even is that? Do I even have that? Aha, it's the Cavender. But if I hold a specific sword, will he spawn with that one? So if I hold the Dark Blade, will he come out with the Dark Blade? Or is it always Cavender? I've never tested. It seems like it's always Cavender. This friend does not want to stand still. No, stand still. Okay, yep, always Cavender. If you take a portal and then instantly use Dimensional Rift, where do you go? That's what I'm here to find out today. Let's give it a try. All right, teleport and V. I'm in the shadow realm, but like, I also took the portal, so where am I? Oh, I didn't actually go through, but I swear I walked through the teleport. Let's try that again. Teleport and then V. All right, back in the shadow realm. I'm in Castle on the Sea. Basically, what happens is nothing crazy. You just kind of take the teleport and that's about it. Next, we're going to try and see if Love Fruit's Flamingo Ride can carry mobs infinite distances. So we're going to kidnap one of these captains. Yoink. And we're going to see how far we can go before he despawns. If he even despawns. So far, nothing. By now, he definitely would have returned to place. So can we just go infinite distances? distances? Seems like it. Wow, you could literally take them halfway across the map if you wanted to. What happens if you carry one of these mobs into a safe zone, though? Which is a really stupid question to have when I'm nowhere near a safe zone. I've got a special delivery of XP coming in for anybody in the safe zone right now. Does it let me bring him into the safe zone? Yes, it does. Oh, I'm gonna try again because I got knocked off my flamingo for some reason. Can you not Amazon package XP to people in this game? I'm gonna be sad if this is actually the case. I got another delivery coming in. Try punching the fishman captain. It seems like, yeah, he doesn't take damage because of the safe zone. But what if it's just outside the safe zone? Oh, he disappeared. Where'd he go? This flamingo ride mechanic has so much potential. Potential for devious things. That's what I mean. Spirit fruit summons can obviously be placed on the ground, but can they be placed on the ocean? Let's give it a try. I am literally spam clicking and nothing is happening. So I don't think this one's possible. Meaning it's probably pretty tough to fight sea beasts using the spirit fruit unless you can place them on ships. So that's how you'll provide backup. You can spam all of your things on a ship. And then if you drove this into a sea beast, it would be like a package full of damage. It's like placing a bunch of C4s on a car or something in GTA. It has the same kind of vibes. I like it. The spider fruit's F ability, does it work underneath trees where you can barely jump properly? Let's test it out. Spider highway. What? It actually worked, and I swung really high. How is that working? Hey, I'm not gonna judge. The spider fruit is easily becoming my favorite fruit. Next, we're gonna see if the best friend can actually pick up the devil fruits we drop on the floor. So if I drop my little falcon, you are not my best friend. Hey, place that down. All right, he does not pick it up, but he can, like, push it out the way. So you can, like, maneuver the fruits around by, like, moving your screen and pushing your best friend around. Can you use the control fruit to lift somebody up who stood on a tree? Let's find out. Levitate. It does not work. And can they even, like, stand on that tree that's levitating? Probably not. Oh, wait, let me try again. What if I go from like halfway? That one doesn't work. Can you use the awakened doe to travel sideways on walls? So we all know it can go up, but can it go left or right? That's what I'm here to test. Maybe not on a circular wall. What about a flat wall? How am I doing this? I don't know how I just did that, but like it kind of worked. Wait, this wall will be perfect. Ow. Where have my arms gone? Bro, I lost my arms. Okay, we're gonna try again. Go up here and then we go left. You can kind of do it if you get the right angle like this. It does kind of work. Oh yeah, we're going sideways. 